These are the signs that will be associated with believers. In my name, they will cast out devils. They will have the gift of tongues. They will pick up snakes in their hands and be, un be unharmed should they drink deadly poison. They will lay their hands on the sick who will recover. The Gospel of the Lord. Coordination begins, and it begins with the singing of the Veni Creator Spiritus. Carolo Iapeo Yamo Bishopo Isimula Carole Riopele Sifila Samoya Ubi Tepo Camoraho Mo Bishopo Moketwa. Ota Kariswa, me a Kariswa, ke mo prista, yo mo lopelang, koto lepeo. The bishop elect will be presented by a priest requesting ordination. We remember that at baptism he was presented by his family and at ordination to the priesthood the family as well presented him for ordination but today the clergy presents him for ordination to the episcopate kamorago lokwalo thopo le tswang kwa morena papa Francis Wanka, Lotwa Buisiwa, Meleta Buisiwa, Kemo Emeri Wahawe Eleng, Archbishop Mario Kasari. The papal bull will be read. It is a particular letter and charter issued by the Pope, and it demonstrates how the authority of our local bishop, conferred by the Holy Spirit, is exercised 
in communion and with the Holy See, connecting the Diocese of Klexdorp with the Universal Church. Kamurago, Rona, Relis Chabasamodemo, Re Amorela, Reta Amorela, Tapodue, Yamo Bishop Omoke. We, the people of God, we will show our consent. And our consent is a response that ratifies and receives the appointed appointment of the bishop elect. May Janung. I'll call upon Father Donald Bohe to stand up as we sing the Veni Creator Spiritus. Please, Father Bohe, ascend the stage, the podium. Are you aiming? Mere opele se filasamo ya obise. Father, the Church of Clarkstock asks you to ordain this priest, Father Victor Shlolo Palana, to the responsibility of the Episcopate. 
Have you amended from the Holy See? We have. Let it be read. Franciscus Episcopus Servus Servorum Dei. Actenus Vicario Generali Metropolitane Sedis Pretoriensis Electo Episcopo Clerpolitano Salutem et Apostolicam Benedictionem. Cum providendo sit quidem diecesi clerpolitane vacanti per enunciationem venerabilis fratris Zitulele e Patrizi in Vembe, nos solliciti de totius dominici gregis bono te, dilecte fili, egregis mentis et cordis dotibus ornatum, rerunque sacrarum abunde peritum, putamus idoneum ad illam regendam. De sententia egitur congregationis pro gentium evangelizzazione summa apostolica potestate te episcopum kerkpolitanum nominamus cuntis cun iuribus ed obligationibus. Permitimus ut ordinazione maculibet catolico episcopo extra urbem Roma macipias secondo liturgicas leges. Antiautem, tibies facenda cattolice fidei professio, atque ius iurandum nocupandum fidelitatis erga nos et nostros successores. Mandamus preterea, ut ec litere in notitiam veniant cleri populusque tui, quos actenus ut te letia cipiant, te cumque coniunti maneant. Prote denique dilecte fili, constituto episcopo et patri clerc politane ecclesie, ube rima paracliti spiritus don aposcimus, quibus adiutus fideles creditos valeas pascere, diligentia et pietate, caritate atque factis amplius quam verbis. Pax Christi. Auspice Domina Nostra Africe Regina, sit sempitercum et come adem carissima diocesana comunitate in diletta Repubblica Africe Australis. Datum Rome, apud Santum Petrum, die vicesimo quarto mensis novembris, anno domini bis millesimo decimo quarto Pontificatus Nostri Secundo. Franciscus. Francis Bishop, servant of the servants of God, to our beloved son, Victor Clulo Palada, hitherto Vicar General of the Metropolitan See of Pretoria, now Bishop-elect of Clarkstone. Greetings and the apostolic benediction. Since provision must be made for the particular diocese of Clarkstone, vacant through the resignation of our venerable brother, Zitulele Patrick Mvenve, and we being solicitors for the good of the whole flock of the Lord, have considered you, beloved son, endowed with exceptional qualities of mind and heart, and well experienced in sacred affairs to be well suited to govern it. Therefore, with the consent of the congregation for the evangelization of peoples, with the supreme apostolic power, we nominate you 
Bishop of Clagstock. With all rights and obligations, we permit you to receive ordination from any Catholic bishop outside the city of Rome according to the liturgical laws. However, beforehand, you must make the profession of faith and take the oath of loyalty to us and our successors. We command also that this letter be brought to the notice of your clergy and people. And we exhort them to receive you gladly and to remain united with you. When you are established as bishop and father of the church of Clarkstop, beloved son, we implore for you most abundant gifts of the Holy Spirit. Aided by these, you may be enabled to feed the faithful entrusted to you with diligence and piety and with charity, in deeds rather than in words. Rule of St. Benedict, chapter 2, verse 12. The peace of Christ, with the guidance of Our Lady Queen of Africa, be with you always, and with that dear diocesan community in our beloved Republic of South Africa. Given at Rome, at St. Peter's, the 24th day of November in the year of our Lord 2014, the second of our pontificate, Francis Marcellus Rossetti, Protonotary Apostolic. Francis Mobishopo, Modiredi Wabadiredi Bamodimo. Homorawa Runa, Yorate Hang, Victor Solo Palana, Officiala Janong, Figa General, Ya Metropolitan, Ya Tswane, Mosiba Chense, Mobishopo, Mohetua, Wamatrosani, Ditumeriso, Lele Seho, Laba Apostola, Hotokakana Goyo, Mokauli Mwa Runa, Mutoteri, Zitulele, Patrick Mbembe, Alebukile Tiro, Runabari Chenyan Tata, Kamule Mwale Tsuma Nila Mudimo, Rebone Kulebo Tfokwa, Khoche Tawena, Murwa Kayo Ratekhang, Yonan Lebo Khone, Jobo Kholo, Batalo Khanyo, Leba Pelu Likito, Maba pili dilo tasimo ya Khona motsa maisi le moetele di pele wa ta SCA e. Ka mo ka tumalano ya mo khatwa tsa baiso ya Evangeli go di chaba Congregation for the Evangelization of Peoples le ka matla a magolo a ba apostola re go tsoma misa ja ka mo bishopo wa matlosane Kaditsiamelo Munchekano ya buikanye kho khorona le balatedi ba rona re kopa gore le kwalolo luitsi si ya batjakone le ba priesti botlhe le batho ba modimo me re ba rutwetsa go go amogela ka buitumelo ba ne sopo sengwe le wena janong morwaka yo rategang 
Fausina khubewu aja ka mo bishopo wa diocese ya Matlosane re kopela wena di mphotse di kgolo tsamaya o boitsepo Fausina khumisiwa ka di mphotse o tla khona o fepa ba dumedi ba o ba filweng ka bo molemo le kutsela botlhoko segolo thata ka ditiro go nna le ka mafuko ka riso ya Kriste ga mmogo le kaela mofumagadi Maria go se gadi ya Afrika di nelwena ka metsa le putego yotlhe rategang ya diocese ya Matlosane mo Afrika borwa e rategang go tswa kwa Roma ka letsa tsila mashume mabedi le bone tsa diphalane mo ngwage ngwa morena se mo soma kuma mabedi le shume le bone wa ga bobedi wa pontificate ya rona francis midiletsane ba ka ulengwe vovozela vovozele re tshoma bisa tlopo e ya morena papa me jano re tla retsa tshero go tswa go mo bishopo wa nka wa ga borone mo bishop boniface setlalegosi we listen to the homily from the emeritus bishop of haborone boniface setlalegosi go into the whole world and teach all nations he who believes will be saved tsamaya le le fatse lotlhe meloro tsa tshaba tshoto yo di melang go tla bolokwa ke ba foko ana ra utwa ra balela mo e fageleng ya go mpieng and then about the father and of the son and of the holy spirit mo todi wa rona bishop elect victor palani le basadi ba gago le rona ba thoba mojimo this is a day that is be made by the law let us rejoice and be glad le ke le tsatsi le le dirweng ke morena ha ri tumeleng ri pele you you the people of blackstop have been praying for this day that the god the lord should send you the bishop your prayers have been heard and today in a few minutes you will have a bishop receive him with joy lona batoba black stop lenzo lo rapela mo lona modimo for all who remember mo bishop di tsapelo tsa lona di arabile me ala mo abogela jana ha go gola le foko la mo tswana ana are o se ka ba bona tholona boriti teng ga yone go ba ba yo mo bisho po wa lona ke ngwana wa mmu le sapo la le sapo la lona nama ya nama ya lona your own child the bone of your bone and the flesh of your flesh Once blessed pope the 6 was asked a question what was the greatest day in his life many people expect him to say the day that he was made pope but without a moment of hesitation he said it was the day i was baptized but without He highly put baptism above ordination to the priesthood and elevation to papacy. But over the years, the primacy of baptism was put up was put above it. The result was a gulf opened up between the clergy and the laity. And this was bad for both. Bad for the clergy 
because it removed them from the people and put them on a pedestal. It also bad for the laity because it reduced them to second class members of the church. And we know that Jesus Christ, the eternal shepherd, entrusted the, the apostles with his church with their mission. And the bishops are the successors of the apostles. And today, my dear Bishop-elect, in a few minutes after your ordination, you will become the successor of St. Paul the Apostle. You will become the shepherd of the people of Glenstone, their guide, their teacher, their spiritual leader. When you take your chair in your cathedral in the town of Glenstone, Remember the words of the Lord. He who listens to you listens to me, and he who rejects you rejects me. You are coming to Glenstop as a manger, as a messenger of Christ to preach his gospel in season and out of season. In a few minutes, the ordaining archbishop will remind you that you have been chosen by the Lord from men and women to act for men and women. The title bishop is not one of honor, but one of function. And therefore, as bishop, you should strive to serve rather than to rule. This is what our master is saying. He came not to be served, but to serve. And the servant is not greater than his master. In the first reading, we are told, we hear St. Paul saying, I am a Jew, born of Tessos in Cilicia. I was brought there in the city. I am the least of the apostles because I persecuted the church of God and I'm not fit to be called an apostle. Today, you can say to the people of Glenstock, I am the flesh of your flesh, the bone of your bone, Victor Palani from Harankua in Sani. But the Lord has chosen me to be your shepherd. I have come as one sent by the Lord to proclaim the good news. St. Paul, in, in the letter to the, to the Ephesians, to the Philippians, he gives an encouragement first from the gospel. What Jesus calls upon us, his followers, he did it himself. He came not to be served, but to serve. It was just because of this that the Orthodox religious people of his time could not understand him. All they dreamt of the Messiah was the Messiah who would be a conquering king, one who would smash the enemies of Israel and reign with power. They looked for a conquering, for a conqueror. They received one broken in a cross. They looked for a reigning lion of Judah, but they received the gentle lamb of God. In the cross of Christ, the Jewish, under, the Jewish standards of judgment and human notions was were shattered. In the gospel, Jesus says to himself, goes out to, to the whole world and throws the good news. My brother Bishop Victor, my brother Bishop elect Victor, Jesus is sending you today to go and preach the gospel in Gladstop and other places. 
He is giving you the power to cast out devils. He's giving you the power, the great power, to do great things. Yes, you, you, will face, you will face many challenges as bishop, but trust is in the Lord. Encouraging you, St. Paul. If there is any encouragement in Christ, any solace in love, any participation in spirit, any compassion in mercy, complete my joy by being of the same mind, with the same love, united in heart. Do nothing out of selfishness and vain glory. Rather, humbly be humbly make sure that you give first place to the other. Yes, many people will knock at your office. Rich and rich and poor big and small as a bishop you are called to walk in the footsteps of the lord the one who knelt down to wash the feet of his disciples of his apostles and he said to them after washing his, their feet you call me lord yes i am but you have seen what i have done go and do the same said the lord to his disciples as bishop, you are called to be humble. He, your master, says St. Paul, he emptied himself and took the form of a servant. A story is told that years ago, a famous actor was in a party and he was, and he was asked by his guests to do some recitation for them. And he asked them, is there anything in particular you would like me to, to say? There was an old mission, minister of religion. And he said, would you recite for us Psalm 23? A, a strange look came from the actor's face. He paused for a moment. And afterwards he said, yes. I'll recite Psalm 23 on the condition that afterwards you, my dear friend, will also recite this psalm. And so the actor recited the, the psalm with his, with his trait. The audience was in spell, held spellbound. After sitting down, the old minister stood up. As he was reciting the psalm, with a shivering boy voice, and the tears were flowing down. And he sat down. As he, after sitting down, the actor stood up and said, Ladies and gentlemen, I may have touched your ears and your eyes, but this grand minister knows the shepherd. Yes, my dear brother, Bishop-elect, you know the shepherd. You know what he wants you to do. Do it, and the whole world will be yours. Murana Jeso, Haru Maba Baruto Bahawe, Omare Lare, Samayang, Lissikalata Asipe, Lissikalata Elale to Asipe, Lahaile Parasepe Gizadi Thako, Le haile magisa pedi ka hore modiri o tshwanelwa ke tuelo ya gagwe Mushope o mosha o horo ga mogolo wena go mpieno me a horo ga mogolo wena le o tla ka mafukwao mora ha mora a ri alo a re o se ka wa tsela di thakosi o se ka ba tsela le o te sepe le haile magisa pedi le haile parata di thako ka go nne Bishop elect Haka Plela, Bishop Utile Ela Bidiwa, Almo Fissing, Copritonia, Otoma Mamala Papa Hubisa, Hatanam Mamma Papa Marari, Big Father Victor. 
Mwana papa, wako bisa, wako topa. Kolo wana, mbisho po, what likes to. Tuwa na kamo. Kora ajalo kore, mbisho po elect, bitya palani, hae magari halo na, kwa magari halo na, jaga murunga, wamara na papa. Hale mo nyata, li nyata mo na papa. Having been enlightened by the word of God, proclaimed in the scriptures and the homily, the bishop elect now stands before the ordaining bishop to stand to state his intentions. Morao kau kanse zagil fogolamu dimo lele patala di tuing mori tutong kumpieno limoterong mu bishop mukaitoa. Uwe mafapele kamu bishopo, yuotla mutlatuse hangu maimonga bu bishopo. Kupatala za maikaile laka kwe, le kupatala za maikano abudiredi jaga mu bishopo. Nati pala, the ancient rule of the Holy Fathers ordains that a bishop elect is to be questioned in the presence of the people on his resolve to uphold the faith and to discharge his duty. And so, dear brother, do you resolve by the grace of the Holy Spirit to discharge until death the office entrusted to us by the apostles, which we now pass on to you by laying on of hands? I do. Do you resolve to preach the gospel of Christ with constancy and fidelity. Do you resolve to guard the deposit of faith, entire and incorrupt, as handed down by the apostles and preserved in the church everywhere and at all times? Do you resolve, Daddy, to render obedience faithfully? to the successor of the blessed apostle Peter? I do. Do, re do you resolve to build up the body of Christ, his church, and to remain in the unity of that body together with the order of bishops